what's going on guys welcome back to another one now in this video we're going to go over um youtube Ray's astrology he um excuse me Ray's astro photography he exposes evidence that three eye atlas isn't a comet and also um from the photo that you see right here this is the latest photo taken by the hubble telescope a lot of people are talking about this right now. We're going to get into what Ray has to say because it's very interesting. Guys, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content because um, we're going to talk about it. Now, on November 30th, the Hubble telescope captured a fresh image of 3 Eye Atlas when it was 178 million miles from Earth. The observation helped confirm its coma and general behavior. At about the same time, the JUICE, a European Space Agency spacecraft, recorded detailed imagery showing 3 eye Atlas supporting two distinct tails, a plasma tail and a dust tail. Uh, these tails, along with a bright coma and jet-like features, are consistent with cometary outgassing. Materials on a comet are sublimating ice, uh, turning into gas as it turns when passing uh, near the sun. Some observations suggest 3 eye Atlas may be venting via, uh, um, what is this right here? Cryocanones, ice um, volcanoes erupting gas and dust rather than classic sublimation alone. Um, but the thing is here, we're going to go over to. Let me just go over here. Let me show you this. Give me a second. We're going to show you this photo. Okay. So we're here. We're going to actually, let me just make this uh, a little bigger so you can actually see it. This is from the uh, NASA website. These are the photos that they took that everybody is interested in here. So you can see a um, a tiny dot and then a huge uh, blue coma around it. And this coma is really huge, man. Um, so yeah, let's go right here. But what I want to do is I want to see what Ray's for uh, uh, excuse me. Um, damn, I keep thinking of forgetting the name. Ray's astro photography. And I'm going to leave. His um uh, descript I mean um his link in the description so you could take a listen to what he's saying even more. But he's saying some interesting things here about this comment. I don't think it's a comment, guys. Like what is this? So let's go over to listen to what he has to say here. Let me stop right there. The reason why he say that um, the Internet is going crazy over this is because of the shape, um, especially when you kind of, um, you know, what do you call it? Like you kind of adjust the image a little bit and sharpen the image. You can kind of make it out. So that's what he's saying.
my question is, are they doctoring the pitchers? That's my question to you guys right now. What do you think? Are they doctoring these images? Will we ever know what 3 Eye Atlas really looks like? Now, we probably will because people, um, amateur astronomers, astronomers like Ray, they're showing us the pictures from their telescopes. So on December 19th, 3 Eye Atlas will make its closest approach to Earth. So at some point, uh, Ray and the other people that are doing this, they're going to get different images. So that's what I'm waiting for on the 19th on what happens when this interstellar object i'm not going to call it a comet i'm just going to call it an interstellar object when it passes uh, what is it going to look like then and also will we be able to see something in the skies now i know this thing will be roughly 23 million miles away or even long more than that but exactly how like what's going to happen because a lot of people um i could tell by their commentary that this is not a this is not what they think it is and uh, what should we be prepared for on the 19th but uh let's continue with uh ray because you could tell he's kind of questioning this image that you see here he's questioning it because those are not the images that he's seeing in the sky All right, let me just show you this really quickly. Uh, I'm going to go back to the Hubble website, okay? I'm going to go <laughs> I'm going to go back to the Hubble website. Now, I don't I hope you don't think I'm reaching here when I say this. You see these images that the Hubble is able to take? Look at these clear images that the Hubble you know is able to take over the years. Um we could view the gallery um the Hubble galaxies, and you mean to tell me we can't get a clear image of Three Eye Atlas? I mean, all of these images that it's able to uh, take here, and we can't get a clear image of Three Eye Atlas. They're hiding this from us, guys. It's able to see things light years away, and we can't see this interstellar object that's um, approaching. And now they're saying that the strange part about it is it's headed to uh, Jupiter. That's what they say. But you mean to tell me we can't get no clear images and we could get all of this? What do you guys think? I don't know.
he's talking about the point of light that you see here on the screen. And um, he thinks it's very interesting because when he took pictures from his telescope, he wasn't able to see this this type of image. But the Hubble is able to pick this up, but it's still not able to pick up any kind of definition. Now, I'm wondering when this thing reaches on uh, December 19th, when it reaches its closest approach to Earth, will we be able to get some type of um, definitive uh, pictures on what this thing looks like? Because, I, I mean, if you're able to take pictures uh, far out in the intergalactic universe with this telescope and you can't get nothing on 3 Eye Atlas, um, the first thought is that they're not, they don't want to show us. There's something else going on in the skies that they just don't want to show us right now. They don't want to tell us. I mean, um, I could be wrong, but what say you? He's still, he's just pointing out what the light looks like. Uh, he said it's missing a lot here. And he's trying to come to the determination on what this object is. I mean, on the 19th, uh, maybe we'll get some answers. But what I'm going to do is, in the description, you're going to get the link to the video in the description. Um, to the video that I was referencing. So you could actually see it for yourself. But guys. I will be back next time. Um, I will be continuing to cover 3 Eye Atlas, even past December 19th, um, especially on December 19th. Look for that live chat because that's when 3 Eye Atlas is making its uh, closest approach to Earth. And um, hopefully NASA is going to give us some um, images this time. You know, now, if we're just going to, because as of right now, we're only seeing specks of light. That's all we're seeing. We're not seeing anything else, but hopefully we'll get some detailed images like they did with Amua Mua uh, back then. So we'll see. Guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. I will see you in the next one.
Take care.